Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Crazy Town Podcast. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with T R N T Dynamite, the Explosive One, T N T D A N O M I G H T. What up, Johnny? Oh, dude, we're uh, hanging out. We're trying to bring some knowledge to the folks of the world that listen to our podcast. All three of them. Mm. The three of you are going to get some big knowledge today. All three, all three of you. Yeah, yeah. So, no, we want to thank you so much for uh, joining us today, whether you're joining us on Spotify or iTunes. Uh, that's where we, we can auditorily stimulate you. Or uh, Crazy Town <laughs> Media on YouTube. This dude does Twitch things. Don't you ever try to stimulate me auditorily, you know <laughs> Right? Yeah, yeah, right now. TNT, I'm on YouTube. Wait, I'm on Twitch. Yeah, you're on Twitch, dude. Uh, that's TNT, D I N O M I G H T underscore crazy town at twitch.tv. Come hang out. Awesome. TNT, we're going to do an experiment. Mm. I found a website mm -hmm. that shows the ridiculous amount of money that the rich people in this world make compared to the average man. Oh, hell yeah. Eat it, the, the website is mibezos.com. <laughs> and it calculates money like as soon as you go to the website it starts calculating how much money people make and it tells you how much bezos elon zuckerberg gates a top 0.1 percent income earner a top one percent income wow. earner an average american and a minimum wage worker it tells you how much all it like you f start the page and it starts making money as if you were one of these people. Well, we're just constantly losing money. You know, so, so, well, yeah, that's true. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this run. And at the end of the episode, <laughs> at the end of the episode, we're going to compare how much money the minimum wage worker would make compared to how much Bezos makes compared to how much Bill Gates makes in like a, what, our episodes are what, 20, 25 minutes? Sure, I, I'm sure. Um, it seems to me as though like I'm constantly losing money if I'm not at work, and like a lot of people make that what they call horizontal money. Okay, what's that? Horizontal money is money you make while you're laying down. Oh, passive income. Yes. Gotcha, gotcha. That's, gotcha, that's gotcha. another way to Well, I mean, this it. is like, I think this is more like hourly rate broken down by how oh, many you make in a oh. year. Like, you know, it's like, it's like if you take the amount of money somebody makes over a year and, and divide it by a sec, however many seconds are in a year, it calculates it like that. Sure. I mean, so, on average, still. <laughs> yeah. So I just wanted to, uh, I wanted to start it right at the beginning. And then maybe the, when we have five minutes left, I'll go through and kind of talk about how much. So you can just see the disparity from like a minimum wage worker to Bezos. You know, it's funny. I was just, this is like totally on the same eat the rich idea, but uh, I was just looking at uh, something on Reddit, of course. Okay. <laughs> where it was talking about like the difference between like uh, prices and like how much people make. It was talking about like uh, a poor man can, can buy like boots for like $10. All right? right. Back in the day where a rich man could buy a pair of boots for $50. But the boots for ten dollars, he's gonna have to replace every year. The right. boots that are fifty dollars last him ten years. Right. So it's like you're paying ten dollars every year. Right. And the proportion of, of how long you have to work to pay for those boots is a lot more too. So the rich man he pays fifty bucks for boots that'll last ten years. He works maybe an hour or two at the most. Right. Poor man work can work couple hours to make these boots and then have to replace them every year exactly yeah yeah it's just it's it's crazy um <laughs> so i wanted to uh to do that because it, it was because i was watching it the other day i was playing with it and i was like oh wow that's that's interesting so can, can we do a real quick call back see is the yeah. world on our eat the rich yeah dude absolutely let's go so since march 13th march 13th okay yeah, that's since when massimo giuliani okay ended up in prison I mean, ended up uh, taken into custody by is authorities. Is that 6 9 No, Massimo Giuliani is Aunt Becky's husband. Oh, he was taken... Oh, dude, he got put in right before lockdown? So... Like, three days before pandemic? Well, he, he, just, he basically just turned himself over and was like, yeah, so he's probably going to get time served. Yeah, he's been there for what? Month, month, six, six, six months? So, no, no, because they got released on a million-dollar bond. I just realized. They got released on bond. Okay. But... They did get their sentencing finally, and Massimo has to do five months in prison. Which he's already done. 
I don't think he's oh, wait, done oh, it he, he, oh, he has, they did get out on a million dollar bond uh, shortly after turning themselves in. And Lori Laughlin's going to have to do two months in prison plus 100 hours of community service. Um, I'm sure Massimo had some community service as well. Yeah. And they both, I think Aunt Becky has like a $100,000 fine and Massimo has a $250,000 fine. That, coupled on with the half a million dollars that they paid to get their two daughters in school, and the million dollar bond. They get the bond fine. back though. Oh yeah, that's true. Plus the fines though. That's a lot of money. Wait, so their fine for what they did wasn't even as much as they paid to get their kid into school? No. That's Jim. fucked up. No. <laughs> what? The fine should be at up? least what you paid to corrupt the educational system. Whoa, I didn't realize you felt so strongly about but modern education. Absolutely I do. <laughs> If you're gonna, like so, so you spend half a million dollars to corrupt yeah. an educational institution, and they're like, pay a hundred k. No, it's three fifty between the two of them. Three hundred fifty k between the two of them. Yeah, dude. I don't you're know. Not, I mean, you're not. That's not enough for you. It's not enough. Nah, dude. How does that teach him a lesson? I'm pretty sure that you the know five gaming and the <laughs> five months behind bars. The uh, the public opinion. Uh, two months behind bars. You know, I doubt if they'll even serve the full. They kicked soon. her off Fuller House. <laughs> Was she even on Fuller House? I don't even know. I don't know. Probably. Yeah. I think she did have uh, some deals to be on it, but no, no, it's not happening, man. Oh well. You well, know. it's just a little update, man. To tell you that they finally got their due desserts, Jonas. You know, whether you, know you what? think it's enough or not. You know what? You do uh, fucked up shit. Fucked up shit happens to you. Yeah, man. If you get caught. Yeah. Yeah. And you right. know what? You know what I hate about these sort of situations is. They will be sorry, but they're only sorry they got caught. They would do it again yes. if they could guarantee they wouldn't get caught. Yes. And honestly, if they had just like plea bargained at the beginning and just took their two weeks in prison, <laughs> it'd be a big different deal right now. Oh, yeah. Like if they would have got caught and just been like, yeah, we did it. We're sorry. Yep. We'll take our. Here's the fine. We'll take our two weeks in jail and we'll be back on our way. Yeah. Because that's what other people, that was comparable sentencing to the other people involved. But they were like, no, we're going to fight it in court. We didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> you absolutely did something wrong. Like, no matter how much you say it's not wrong, it's still wrong. <laughs> so I want to touch base on this with you because this is something that I think I have done. But I think you said that you do this a lot. Whoa. Where you'll be at like a bar out with people or at a party or whatever. <laughs> and all of a sudden everybody's like, where's TNT? No, he at home in bed. <laughs> yeah. I, I dip. I'm a dippy. I'm a dipsy so, doodle. So, uh, what I didn't realize it, and I, it, that this has a name it's psychological it's called the Irish goodbye. Hell yeah. Joe, this some handing them out. Yeah. Wow. And it said that it was, you know, the, this, the, the, the premise of leaving, leaving a party or gathering or whatever without saying goodbye to the hosts. At least goodbye to the hosts of the party. Yeah, Jonas. I love it when there's a hint of racial... Right. And, and they said something, there was another one. There was like a French something and a Dutch something. <laughs> but the reason they actually call it the Irish goodbye, it right. is not due to racism. I'm pretty sure, but okay. It is based on a, what happened during the potato famine back in the 1800s. Mm. Because what happened is a bunch of Irish people... Mm -hmm left for america because of the potato famine okay and then a lot of them left without being able to say goodbye to all their friends and family and they knew that when once they left for america they probably would never see them again damn because they were like they got on the boat dude quick as they could so and they were just, gone it's just like the idea of leaving your family to starve <laughs> Bye, Tony. We'll see you never. <laughs> Have fun with all that non food in Irish. No, I kind of want to know what the other ones were. Like, it was the same. It was just, they call it, it was like, it was, uh, I had it written down on the other card and I ran out of room and I threw it away. The French Sayonara. The, yeah, it was uh, like the, the Dutch Leave and like the, the French <laughs> Express or something. I don't the know. Russian dude. Arriva <laughs> the Russian of Riva The Russian Roulette. <laughs> Yeah, dude. So I thought that that I, I know that you can resonate with that. What's because... the black one, Jones? I want to know. What that one. I'm sorry. <laughs> Jesus. I do what? I want to know what it is. <laughs> the white one's called "Let Me Talk to Your Manager." <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even gonna make the joke of what the black one was. I had one in my head. But I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave it alone. I give them too much sometimes. They might be like, "Whoa." <laughs> yeah, dude. I mean. 
you know, I mean, look, it's TNT. Hey, I'll talk to your manager, and then I'm gonna go to the. <laughs> now all of a sudden, I'm gone. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I didn't read the the full story, but I guess like some lab in New Jersey like gave NFL players like. Twelve false Corona positives per team. Like there was like a big uproar because they thought all these NFL players were like Corona, and they were like, "Oh, hey, yeah, we messed up." False positives. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, were they really positive? Or were they like, "How are we going to save the season if every every team has twelve players that are positive?" They were like, Shh, "They're millionaires. Just give them the vaccine." <laughs> That's really what fucking happened. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I did see a story too that. China's claiming they've been giving people a vaccine f- for a few months, and so, I was like, "So is Russia." Russia tested theirs on like eight people, and they're like, "It's good." One of them was Putin's daughter. Oh boy! Next thing you know, they're all gonna be growing rats out their neck. Wait, come on! You, what do you think? Russian scientists can't come up with? I shit? highly believe that that was a lie that Putin's daughter got it. Uh, do you believe that Sputnik was a lie? I believe that um, Skolnik Metal Face. Is alive and well. No, but Nick was the first space thingy. Oh, that they beat us to space. Yeah, yeah, dude. Whatever. What do you do? You are you one of those deniers? You think it was done in a lab? I mean, oh, uh, walking on the moon. Yeah, like a studio was a oh, sound stage. Uh, no, nah, dude. I don't. I mean, I'm indifferent, dude. Whatever. <laughs> whatever it is, dude. It is. I don't know. I don't. I don't really have an opinion. I. No. Bro, like, eh. You don't think it's kind of odd that back in like when did the moon landing happen? Like, like 1969 s- or something? Yeah. Yeah, do you really think, like, 60s technology? We're talking about, like, 8-track players, man. Well, well here, here's the thing that is kind of funky about that. It's it, it happened that long ago, and obviously technology was nowhere near what it is exactly. today. And we, and, like, Elon ain't like, I'm going to go to the moon and put something on the moon. He can fly a motherfucking rocket out tomorrow to the moon. That's what, yeah. No one's been back to the moon since. Yeah, that's my thing, man. It's like, if you think about it back then, like a computer took up seven rooms just to like play an MP3, the <laughs> equivalent of playing an MP3. Right, right, right. right. It was like a program that went, do you like books? Yes. And it's like, we do too. It was like, <laughs> they had like these giant punch cards and stuff. Yeah, exactly, man. So I don't know. I'm not a conspiracy theorist, so I'm not going to sit up here and say that we, come on, we, there's no way with 1968, 69 technology we, we did it, but it seems a little far-fetched. Uh, it does. It absolutely does. Um, I don't know. I, it, it just seems a little weird. Um, God, what else was I going to say? There was something else I was going to talk we're talking about. about. We were talking about uh, a cure for the coronavirus, apparently. <laughs> I just kind of took it up to the space thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are they, are they going to give us the cure, Jonas? No, and I don't know. <laughs> and, this is, and this is why... <laughs> no, and this not. is why I uh, And this is why I write things down, because I don't want to sit here and go, what was I going to say? So anyways, um, it'll pop in my head or it won't. Uh, in Tokyo... This is the cure for the coronavirus. No. Oh, that no, was no. that was over. I thought it was. Just, I just saw that they had. Uh, there was some false tests for NFL players that made me like kind of question, like, were they really false tests, or are they just like no, have no, a lab no. go? Oh yeah, those are false. Te-. You ain't heard about false positives for coronavirus anywhere. All of a sudden, NFL players have it. It's for false positives. Mm, it's probably just a mistake, clerical error. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we checked Y instead of N. <laughs> I circled Y. Somebody, Please, somebody do I have Corona? Circle Y or N. Oh, somebody actually drip, dumped a vial of blood into another vial of blood. It happens all the time. Oh man. yeah, dude. You know how you know how <laughs> you know how labs are and all. Yeah, you know, so unsafe and unorganized and open air and just stuff. Honestly, if you've seen any superhero origin story, basically labs are awful, dude. They yeah, like... everything's just open and spilling everywhere. <laughs> right. There's no precautions. Jurassic Park. Come on. Spiders are just biting each other. Yeah, and, yeah dude, <laughs> it's rampant. Yeah, dude, there, dude. I feel you. So, all right, we'll talk about uh. Public toilets, man. Oh, man. This takes me back to, like, the first, very, very, very first season, John, with toilet etiquette. How do, you, how do you feel about public toilets? How do I feel about them? Yeah. Do you avoid them? Do you use them? I don't know if I've ever felt about public toilets. I don't like I'm not sitting on it. All right? Right. I will, I will pee in any public restaurant. Well, yeah. We're dudes. We can handle that, man. We got, we got carte blanche. Yeah. But I, sitting down, dude, it's a... Emergency situations only, unless it's work, home, yeah, 
or like maybe a friend's house if it's like a, one of those. I will, I will do all I can, but if I'm going to be there for an extended period of time. So do you do the hover? At a friend's? Yeah, I guess. No. Or at a public toilet. I don't women see, women if, hover. Dude, if I have to um, use a public toilet, <laughs> I will like get some wet tissues and like try to like wipe it down a little bit like before I sit on it. I'll still put like... Paper down. I'll do everything I can. So I was I, gonna say you're like l- taking wet toilet paper and putting it down. Like a paper seat. towel. Like okay. I'll grab a wet paper towel, and wipe the seat. Because dude, guys are gross. There's pee all over no, every toilet really. seat. Absolutely. But in my head, I just picture you like taking toilet paper over to the sink, getting it damp, and then like putting. I the said damp, toilet paper, but I meant paper towel. Did, yeah. Putting like damp toilet paper around the seat. No, I was no, like, no, no, okay, no. you know, whatever you want. But yeah. Um. But anyways, Tokyo, uh, they have put. See-through toilets in public places. They're made of glass. Why? It's called smart glass. And so you can see inside the restroom and see how clean it is before you go into it. So, um, so like, because they have, I guess, like, it's the fight that public toilets are dark, dirty, smelly, and scary places. You don't have to worry about there being, like, a, a person in there trying to getcha um and then, and then when you go in and you flip the switch the glass turns opaque and you can't see inside any longer oh so like when no one's in it you can see inside it you can see it's clean or dirty or whatever okay and then when you go in and lock the door or flip the light on or whatever the glass it's smart glass so then it becomes opaque oh it's like what they keep what they have in like offices and stuff like those offices yeah, those, like, where you like close the door and then the room goes I've always thought that was cool. Yeah, like you walk in, it's dark, and all of a sudden the light turns on, you're like, whoa. No, no, I mean, like, the offices that are, like, they look like they're all glass and they're open, but as soon as you, like, close the door or you, like, flip a flip a switch in there, like, all the walls kind of go, like, like blurry. Oh, yeah, it's just, yeah, it's along those lines, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I don't, I don't really understand, like, I don't know if I want to, <laughs> like, go into a clear stall. Because sometimes, you know, I get into the stall and I'm already at my pants. No, it's like a, it's like a glass room. It's like a, in a public area, so it's yeah, like that's what I'm talking you about. You have your pants down before you even get the door Sometimes locked. Sometimes you gotta go for your pants before you go for the door, man. Like I don't want to see everybody in my urgency because there's like a, there's a moment where it's like flip pants, and I need to, you know, depending on how bad I gotta go. Wow, yeah. that's extreme. And sometimes I just like to go with the door open. I'm a male, Jonas. I don't go into a stall and close the door every time. Mm. Even in public. What is somebody going to do? Somebody going to come b- from behind me and like whisper <laughs> something in my ear while I'm taking a piss? I'm a guy. Jonas, <laughs> we can pee anywhere. Wow. You, yeah, j- I guess you're wait, just free. Hold up. Are you telling me is that we go to the movie theater someday when the pandemic ends. Yeah, yeah. We go to the movie theater and we go into the bathroom and... Let's say the third stall, the one right next to the handicapped uh, or handy, handy positive, whatever. The handicapped stall, doors open. You don't just walk in there, take your foot, lift the seat up, and just go. Oh, yeah, yeah. I thought you were you talking about going poop, dude. I was like, uh. yeah, I'll pee, yeah, dude. I'll just go in there and pee. Like, whatever, dude. <laughs> I'm not just pooping with the door That's open. what I thought you meant. I was like, wow, okay, freedom ring, dude. That's why Let I said ring. I'm a guy we can go anywhere. I, thought uh, I was talking about okay. our... Yeah, 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 dude. I just walk in and like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, dude. well, if you're in a clear box, Jonas, everybody's just going to see you with your dork hanging out. Yeah, you know. And that's not maybe cool. Maybe you'll get me a date. In the, in the men's bathroom. <laughs> it's in a park, dude. It's like it's a standalone structure in a public park. No. Like, but isn't it still like a men's room and a woman's I don't bathroom? know, dude. I, truth not facts, dude. <laughs> I just want... I, it was the technology I was talking about, not like the intricacies of what? dating a man in a hearing hole. Well, I'm sorry, Jonas, but I think that erring on the side of caution and privacy is more important than my personal opinion or stigma towards well, a fucking public toilet. Since you talked about privacy, I have another toilet story we're going to piggyback right off of. Amsterdam oh, Jesus. Has, has now put urinals in potted plants in public. This is so dumb. This is the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. What? This is, it's dumb. That the urinals? Why? 
because they were I having there's a because. To, to discourage people from peeing in the streets. No. Because they had such a problem with people peeing in the streets See? that they that like they have like bushes that have urinals built in. And so people can pee in those in front of everyone in the streets still. But yeah, like Yeah, it's still public urination. But, they collect the urine and make fertilizer with it. Shut up, I'm not collecting. Oh my god! And then I guess like when I, I found this story on Reddit, How? and when I got into the comments, because I was like, this seems really fucked up. People were saying in that when they've been to Amsterdam, it is almost impossible to find a public toilet or a public trash can. They said it's like you will go blocks without finding a trash can, and, and there's like no public restrooms like anywhere. And they said, and then you see trash all over the street because people are just like, well, fuck it. I don't ca can't find a trash can. I'm just going to throw. Really? And, and uh, <laughs> I guess what other people have said in the comments, too, is they had such a huge problem of people like doing drugs in public restrooms that they basically closed public restrooms. And, wow. then, and then their solution is like public toilets, like just pee right in the street. Like, wow. <laughs> and I don't know how true that is. It was all from comments and Reddit, but it made sense. Like, yeah, I, I mean, yeah, it's known as the party. It's a party town. Yeah. I mean, and this is in the red light district as well. You know what I mean? Yeah, Which is like the, the party know, epicenter, party, the party sex district, you know, yada, party yada city. So, all right, wow. we are going to get back to MI Bezos because the episode's grinding down. All right. So fine. in the time, it's, it's been about 20 minutes. I'm going to start with the minimum wage worker. So us. If you made minimum wage. Yes. In this amount of time, you would have made 61 cents. 61 cents in 20 minutes. In the time that we, in the time that we were talking. Sure. Okay. This is like over, I think it's oh, over. On, on average. On a second per day. Like instead right. of being like an eight hour shift to be over the course of a day. Yo, good, good job on your 61 cents. Folks. Uh, the average American. Uh huh. Two dollars and 28 cents. That sounds about right. Uh, if you were a top 1% income earner in our country, you would have made uh, $30.50. A 1%er. Yeah, this is like over seconds over a day. The, and then the top 0.1%, so like the like, e like even the top 10 of that would have made $117. Nice. So now we get into the to the super rich dudes. The super rich guys. Bill Gates, in the same <clears throat> amount of time... Pocket watch would have made three hundred and forty thousand dollars. No, so more than half a million dollars, a third of a million dollars. Third, yeah, I mean, almost Zuckerberg half a million. would have made eight hundred ninety seven million dollars, almost a million dollars in every 20 minutes. Uh, Elon Musk would have made two point seven million dollars. Oh, and Bezos. Oh, here we go. Three point three million dollars. In 20 minutes. In 20 minutes. Is that net or gross? I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so Bezos made $3.3 million. A minimum wage worker made $0.61. Cents. Yeah. The average American made $2. Well, well you, you know what they say, Jonas. Uh, they can't say, beat him, join him? They say, <laughs> they say uh, I, the boss makes a dollar, I make a dime, and that's why I poop on company time. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it in full circle. Dude. <laughs> Who doesn't love to shit on the clock? <laughs> right. <laughs> Take that. I get a 15 minute break and I get a 15 minute poop break. Damn get right. <laughs> you damn right. <laughs> Boss shit. makes a dollar. I make a dime. That's why I poop on company time. You never, you never heard that one? That's I hadn't, you? dude. No. I don't know. No. I, I feel like I should have. Yeah, dude, that's right up your alley. It is. Dad jokes. <laughs> Anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode of the Crazy Town Podcast. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, this dude, he does Twitch things, and uh, yeah. TNT Dynamite, I'm on Twitch every single day at 10 o'clock Central. That's TNT, D-I-N-O-M-I-G-H-T underscore Crazy Town at Twitch.tv. Uh, for Jonas, we'll catch you on the next one. We are...